possibly hear me, but we're gonna get out there, try to get on some blues, try to get on some red drums. So enough chit chat, let's get out there. Pretty good bluefish bite right there, and uh, now we're gonna try our hats off, see if we can't get some reds. But uh, it's my buddy Rom right in the background. Y'all seen him before in my other videos. I've been going out with Rom for a while. Um, uh, I'll put his information down in the description below. Um, if y'all are ever down in Hatteras, Buxton, Avon, H Outer Banks area, check him out if you're looking for an inshore uh, guide. He specializes in reds, so. Red drum is like his drug. That's his thing. So, uh, but yeah, like, I mean, Ron comes from fishing line. Like his dad is a legend down here as well. But, uh, 
Now, I'll put his description down in, or his information down in the description below. So uh, we're gonna see if we can't try to get into uh, a couple more fish. We're, we've got lines out right now using my bait. So let's see how we do and uh, stay tuned. Keep tension on it. Right there he is. Uh, he's slot. He's right at 18. He's close. Alright guys, so we are back in the kitchen. As you saw there, some of the video and stuff. We got, so what I'm going to do, um, bluefish is looked at by a lot of people as a trash fish, but it's really not. It's just, bluefish is one of those things, when you catch it, you need to eat it very quickly. And so, like, it's been a few days since we went fishing. But this hasn't been frozen or anything. Bluefish isn't one of those fish that you can really freeze. Uh, if you do, you want to eat it within probably the next few weeks. But what we're going to do with this, you can smoke bluefish and make a great um, smoked bluefish dip. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how to make fish balls. All I'm going to do is take this off. Bluefish have a really, really bad bloodline. So yeah, I cut all that bloodline out. That's what gives it that fishy taste too. So... We're going to get these filleted off the skin, and I'm going to show you all the next step. So you can see a lot of that bloodline right there. That's why you want to, like, when you cut it off, you kind of want to cut it off thick because there's a good bit of bloodline right on that skin. So you have to surge and knees up a little bit. All right, we got that bloodline for the most part cut out here, as you can see. And bluefish, I mean, as you can see right here, bluefish is not a white, flaky, just beautiful meat. That's why a lot of people refer to it as trash fish. But now we'll cut it into like little chunks. Okay, so we got our fish right there. I'll show you the rest, real easy way. Alrighty, so this is very, very easy. You got your house Audrey, hush puppy mix, you got your beer for the batter. So you do like a beer batter, only it's like making hush puppies pretty much. So we're going to open this up. I'm just going to whisk this around so it breaks up those big clumps in there. And I'm going to add my beer you can do water too it doesn't have to be beer but me i'm a beer batter guy add that beer to it and start stirring it up till you get it to the right consistency as you can see soaked it right up add a little bit more there good drop the fish in there Mix it on in there, get it all good. All right. So you want it to be about that consistency right there. That's perfect though. Cause I mean, you can see it's like, not really anything sticking up here, like all soupy. It's all staying a pretty good consistency. So I just finished cooking some shrimp here, but I got two oils and we about to get to frying. Now this is not healthy. Anything fried is not healthy, but man, it is good. And you're just taking this right here and kind of making a little bit of a ball with it, but you just let it dump out right into that. And you're just gonna keep doing this until, well, I would say common sense, but common sense is not common anymore. But uh, you're just going to keep doing it until your skillet's full. Oh, there was some that didn't come off all right. As you can see, they're brown. They're getting golden on one side, so you're going to turn them. Just keep it even. You can do this with any kind of fish, though. I mean, like, it can be freshwater fish, saltwater fish, any kind of fish you want to do this with, you can do it. But... 
the reason I do it with a bluefish is a bluefish is not the filet, min, uh, filet mignon of the sea. So that's the reason I do it with this. All right, so I have bacon wrapped scallops here too. But we're gonna take these off because they're just the right color. So all of this, the shrimp, everything was caught in the outer banks. My buddy Ron hooked me up with uh, some shrimp and some uh, tuna that he had gotten actually down there. So everything you see come from the outer banks, except for the bacon. All right, so right here you can see, you can see that fish in there, and right there. But it is good. Oh, it's so good. Guys, this is a really simple recipe to go with our meal. I'm going to end it right here, but all you need is this. House Autry, you can get it at any grocery store. It's pretty common. But it is the best hush puppy mix, in my opinion. A little biased, but it's the best, I think. But that, bluefish, a little bit of beer for your beer batter or water. Either one, whatever you want to do. And uh, as I almost step on poor lime of my dog. But uh, now, until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this. The next video that's coming out, I think y'all are really going to enjoy uh, because it's a great video. It's us down at the Outer Banks. But bow season is upon us. And so we'll start getting out there into the woods and the fields. Start hunting, trying to knock us down some does and a big buck if it comes along. But I'm all for the meat. So I hope y'all enjoy this. Until next time, I'm Andy Bean with Beaner Outdoors. Like, comment, hit that subscribe button right down there. But until next time, y'all get out there.